this package just arrived late at night and the girls are so super excited from Schneider's Saddlery and Sophie already opened it. She can't wait. A subscriber sent this to us. She sent me a message last week and then I've lost her in the sea of messages. So she, she sent us blankets for our horses. Who's that for? Chino, it's an 82. An 82, it's for Chino. Unless I read it completely wrong. Here you go. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so good. That is beautiful. I know, I How? Got me the pink one. Why? Pink. Yeah, that's so nice. I love that she got pink. You know why? Because some people believe that geldings can't wear pink. And I, I don't believe that. I think that that's amazing. I think that anybody should wear whatever color they want. That's so kind. What kind of one is it? Like, is it a rain sheet? I think it's an insulated rain sheet. They look huge, though. They look really nice. I anyway, that is so kind, so wonderful. Thank you. So imagine somebody went out of their way to send you beautiful blankets from, from a place that we can't order from. They are gorgeous. Can you grab the plastic? Absolutely stunning. I love both of the colors. We were looking for nice, bright colors. I don't know, they're nice. They are beautiful and they're oh, they're, nice. heavy. they're heavy duty blankets. Oh, yeah, really oh that's perfect. That's exactly the le the kind that we need. Wow, that's pretty big. Yeah, I love it. Like he's gonna be the cutest boy in the whole paddock. Just give me some arm muscles lifting it up. They are beautiful. Thank you so much. I love this and it's pink. Thanks. I thought she said that it was a uh, insulated rain sheet, but this is like a good medium weight blanket. Like th this is the blanket that they'll need for most of the winter. Like that's so kind. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're at hey, shopping. Hey, Sophie and I are out shopping. Right, for the first time in years, I have baby fever. Look at how adorable that is. It's Everything's so adorable. cute. Sophie loves babies. I like this one better. Do you? I love this one. It's Christmassy. They're both adorable. So cute. So the reason that we're shopping is because it's um, Elizabeth's birthday coming up. So we know exactly what we want to buy. We just don't know where it is. Yeah, we want to buy this. We do not want to buy mini brands. So also Sophie bought some stuff already and she's going to make something for her for her birthday and we're going to show you guys when we get home. Gabby yeah, made can't. it. Oh, she doesn't she'll watch. watch it. She won't watch it. Anyway, we're looking for something very specific. I'll show you guys when we find it, but welcome to today's video. I want it when I need. Sophie wants everything. No, because you can put your fidget in there. Yeah, I and love like those. Let's keep walking, keep walking. We're here for Elizabeth, we're here for Elizabeth. Okay, so. Yeah, so she wants these. Oh, you can use your phone. Yeah, that's cool. So she wants to get Elizabeth these. Do they change color? Yeah, Here's they do. Phone. All right, so we'll get. Oops. Oh, she has that. Yeah. Cascade, cascading curtain vines. But oh, look at lights. The, do they have lights? She Elizabeth. She has vines with lights, I think. Well, then why are we buying her these if she already has she them? She loves LED. She wants LED lights. All right, so they have this kind too. This is smaller. Yeah. But it has a remote. Mm-hmm. So basically. What Sophie wants to get Elizabeth are LED lights for her room because that's what Sophie has and Elizabeth likes them. What is it? Pineapple. That's cute. It's coming home. Mini pineapples. Oh, it's adorable. Put it on your Christmas list, sister. Put it on your Christmas list. It is that time of the season. Put it on your Christmas list. Sophie found the right spot. No horses go here. Yeah, we forgot. We all... Gabby, I have Crocs on. Gabby doesn't have to suffer today. To be honest, it hasn't rained in days, knock on wood. So that's why it's nice and dry and not muddy. Get my lead rope out of the trailer. Yeah, where is your lead rope? children's lead rope. Oh my gosh, Gabby's using a children's lead rope. Oh my gosh, it's baby. It's mine, but like it's meant for children and I don't like it. Oh, because you're an adult now? Yes. No, she's a teenager. She's an adult, even though she can't drink, can't vote, can't do anything that adult, adults do. Can't even drive a car. Can't even drive a car, oh, poor Gabby. All right. <laughs> and the horses. Gabby, look. Some strange horse just following Gabby right on top of Gabby. 
Anyway, they're working in the field here, it fixing things up. Confidence. What? All right, go get your horse. We're hoping, oh, here comes ours. Finn is not even afraid of all the construction. He's like, whoa, it's them. He's deciding. Put your hand out, Sophie, pretend you have a treat. Put your hand out. Oh my God, just listen to me for once in your life. Aw, oh, there's Chino Bambino. Hello, handsome one. There we go. She goes over to pet the other horses. Meanwhile, her horse is still looking. See, that's how you, uh oh. That's how you do it. You make them jealous. You didn't cut your fingers? Well, that's interesting. I love how the work he does here. Like, he's getting rid of all the junk and all the garbage so that it's all fresh and good for winter. Like, that's so amazing. Like, I love this barn. Like, literally, the guy's working in the fields and all the horses just chilling. Just hanging out, eating, watching. Put the hay there and the hay over there so they're separated into two piles. Yeah, he's really calm. So let's talk about Chino, you guys, while I'm walking back to the barn. I know I've like posted a bunch of videos about how hard he is, mostly because he loses shoes a little bit because we don't haven't figured out what's like what he needs other than his feet are flat and thin. And it's hard working through all that stuff, but we are working through it. And I've talked about how like if Gabby really wants a competitive horse, she's gonna have to get another horse or lease a horse or ride another horse. Like lots of opera lots of options there but i wanted to tell you guys something really important about chino something i haven't told you before but i want you guys to know that we have not given up on our boy and we won't give up on him it's the same thing that happened with finn it took us two and a half years to figure out finn and we're still figuring out finn it took us a long time to figure out storm's feet it, I'm riding a fin next week. it took us so long to do so many things. I'm flatting him. Gabby's riding a fin next week. Yeah. I need to talk to you about Gabby's plan too. Are grays spookier? That's yeah. what I find. I find grays are spooky too. I don't even know why. But anyways, we did not give up on our boy. We're not giving up on him. It's only been, uh, it's been a year. It's almost been two years. But we haven't figured it out yet. We haven't figured him out yet. But we will, we will. You can't, yeah, you can't ride him. Yeah, he pulled his shoe. Yeah. Huh, Finn? Yeah, wait. He got his other shoe put back on because he pulled it. All right, thanks to a wonderful man in the States who. He put the shoe on after he lost it, then he pulled the other one. Yeah, he's, yeah, every time we replace one. Okay, so thanks to a wonderful man in the United States who lives surrounded by tax stores, he generously sent us new blankets. Okay, don't video this. I will okay. fail. <gasps> when we were worried that the pink one would be too big for Finn, I think it's going to fit. I think it fits him great. Yeah, and then he told me that it was going to be an insulated rain sheet. And we had already bought insulated rain sheets, but who would ever turn down extra blankets? Nobody. But anyways, it turns out they're not. They're heavyweight blankets. Yeah, he hugs me. Yeah, he does hug you. I want this for myself. I know it's so warm, you guys. It's a sin to get it dirty on a horse. Already, like, heated up. Yeah, Feel it's nice. What do you think? Somebody sent you that big guy. Say thank you. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. So do it up, Sophie, so I can see. But yeah, that'll fit Finn perfectly. It's a size 78, and he's just a pony. Finn, you got chubby. Do the so then over in this corner, we have Chino in bright blue. So one of the things I've told you guys before about where we live, the only kind of color you can get. It fits. Fits perfect. So these blankets have, I looked it up, they have extra long flaps. Keep their bum warm. Just fits perfect. Perfect. Hey, do yeah, that. No, I bet you this is gonna be the first to go. Yeah, but these ones are. These ones. I feel like this That's is the same. The first to go on every single blanket. Yeah. Every single. One. Why make the target extra big? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right, do it up so I can see it done up. So kind. So amazing. So thoughtful. So these are from Schneider's Saddlery. I almost fell over. Yeah. I put my hand on the ground. Gabby almost fell over. 
<laughs> Don't do that. Oh, yeah. Shoot. It's perfect, it's actually. Bad. If it's perfect. My pony's too fat for the straps. <laughs> you have to adjust the straps. I already did. They're all in the way. Oh, and they're still, and it fits Hold good. Hold on. Oh, oh. Wait. <laughs> There's a problem. I think I put them on the shortest. Oh. <laughs> That's perfect for Finny. You look cute, Chino Bambino. Totally did not just drop that. I love them. It's okay. I, put the Sophie, I made a mistake. She made a mistake. It's a dumb blonde mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you probably don't need it on the longest. That's not the longest. No, but, uh, These are really cute blankets. We will always be able to find Finn in the field. In the, in the... We always can. <laughs> yeah, we can even more. There you go. More room. More gusset room. Yeah. What do you think? You like it? He's still too fat. <laughs> He's still too fat. <gasps> Over here in the fat corner. <laughs> You're still too fat, Finny. If it's nice. Yeah, they're probably dying of heat. They're really nice. I love them. Our farrier is set to arrive tomorrow morning. Thank goodness. Actually, while you guys are watching this, our horse will be getting his shoe on. Finally. Did you see that? Sophie's just getting ready to get on Finn and he just walked over to this barrel and was like put his nose to it and was like I want to be a barrel horse. Can you make him not walk so I can Don't walk his... while she tightens your girth, okay? Run Penny. It's coming. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts when everyone folds your forge to holes. You're placing your bed showing no regret Close your eyes to hide your lies, roll the dice You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invincible fence, letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my witchcraft You're playing way too loud and you're talking rude you're playing a game driving me insane your heart is back and it's a fact no turning back you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass but you're bound to break down bound to lose bound to get knocked right out of your when I use my witchcraft When I use my witchcraft Come on! You got the tiptoe in So now that I've decoded all the equestrian slang, all the stuff that people say when they talk about training your horse or making your horse listen to you. Now that I figured out what they say and what they actually mean, things are going way smoother with Penny and I. Things are going so much better and it's the craziest thing. I keep on telling you guys she talks to me and what that means is that when I make her stop and pay attention to me, she looks me straight in the eyeballs. Like she puts her head right to my face Like and she's done it to Brooklyn too. She's very good at gauging emotion. Like, that's why I love mares. So she puts her face right close to mine, her eyeball to eyeball. She puts her eyeball so close to my face, and I look in her eyes, and she looks in her eyes, and she does like a searching thing. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. And when she does it, I tell her that I'm in a good mood, and I'm kind, and I'm sweet, and that means she can do whatever she wants. Or I tell her I'm stern Laura, aggressive Laura, firm Laura. And then she says, <sighs> and then she behaves always. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?